good day one and all. My name is Kathy and welcome to this episode of the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. Today I'm going to be using up some paper scraps. I'm getting a lot of them and I was looking online for something I could do with my projects that was paper related uh, but that I could use as like um, a gift, stocking stuffers and to sell at my craft shows. Um, so I came across these little sticky note holders that holds these little itty bitty sticky note pads. And it just takes your scrapbooking paper and embellishments. So I thought I would give that a go. I've made several of them actually already this morning. Uh, there's another one. Oh, there it is. These ones are just the scrap paper with a little gemstone on top. And they're so easy to make. So I thought I'm going to be ambitious and I'm going to try to make five on camera for you. Uh, for the paper you need, um, if you have a real thick cardstock, um, you can only use just that if you want to and make it plain. Uh, but if it's a thinner card um, paper or car a thinner piece of cardstock, um, then you'll want to use two pieces. The outer piece is two and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I'm going to layer this on the inside. This measures one and seven eighths by four and a half. And that's what I'm going to start by stamping on. I'm going to use this rubber stamp I have. I don't know the name of the company, but it's this beautiful red rubber stamp. And I'm going Gina K this morning on this one. So I'm just going to get my stamping platform. And we use our score mat a lot on this one. And I'm just going to kind of line it up somewhere in here because I'm just going to stamp the edge. And this blue is a scrap of um, Gina Kay's Tranquil Teal. So I'm going to use Tranquil Teal ink. And I only need to stamp on here. I'm doing this first because I want this to dry while I do everything else. Don't need to stamp the whole thing, but I'm going for it. Definitely not card making, but you could make a card using these designs and then add a little matching sticky note as a gift if you were hand delivering it. That's good. I think I want to ink one more time. I'm, I'm in essence making my own patterned paper here. Okay, that looks good. So I'm just going to peel this up. Set that aside to dry. And I'm going to clean off my mat uh, with my tidy towel. And, the stamp. and that's all the rubber stamping I'm going to do today. Well, for this video, I'm going to be doing a lot of rubber stamping otherwise. But, and I need to research where this stamp came from because it's wonderful. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, and now I'm also going to stencil. I'm using this Tim Holtz poinsettia stamp. And I'm going to be uh, making a red one. This is a red velvet. So I'm going to use a red velvet ink in my stencil. But I'll still need to cut this down. And I don't need to put on a stencil mat because I'm just going to do a little bit here. Um, so I'm just going to tape it down with washi tape. that ought to do it. It shouldn't move. And this is the Tim Holtz. I believe this is a mini poinsettia pencil. I'll, I'll get the name of it and put it in the link below. And I'm just gonna ink this up. And I don't need to do the whole thing, but I'm going to do the whole thing. Um, because if I have any leftover, I can make another one out of this design. Okay. That looks good. And I don't care that I got ink on the sides. That is all right. Because it's going to get cut up. I'm just going to clean as much as I can off. Now red ink will stain, so I'll take this up later and use um, rubbing alcohol on it to get the stain off. 
And I'll put this away so I don't get ink anywhere else I don't want it. And that's done inking. Okay, so let's start with a simpler one. I'm going to let that dry before I cut it up. So I'm going to start with a simple one here. Um, this is brown cardstock. Again, measures two and an eighth by four and three quarters. And then I just have this um, brown pattern. So I'm going to do is glue this on. And kind of center it. You can center it more towards um, one end or the other. It doesn't really matter. This piece in the inside is actually narrower uh, than the one and seven eighths. So I'm just lining it up because I want to use my scraps. So I'm just going to have a larger border on this one. And that is okay. Glue that down. Let's move my ink off the side. Set that over here. Now, to make this, all you need to do is turn it over and get out your scoreboard. And I turned it the long way. And I keep getting text messages, even though I told them I'm offline. But anyhow, you score it at the one inch mark, the one and a half inch mark, the three inch mark, and the three and a half inch mark. And then you fold it inward. And this short portion down here, oh, look at that. I better <laughs> clean my hands before I touch anything white. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna put you on pause while I clean my hands. Okay, I'm back. Um, so now this shorter piece, you see you have a taller one up here and a shorter one down here. This is going to be the bottom. So you just take your sticky pad and figure out which way the papers go. And then I'm just going to take some glue on the back of this. And then put it on the center portion. Kind of center it up as best I can. And hold it in there well, and it, the glue is going to adhere. And that's how this is going to fold over. Now I've got these sticky back Velcros. I'm going to take the soft portion. And I'm just going to put it on the inside. And then I'm taking one of the loop portions. And I'm, moving, I'm putting it a little bit lower so that it's offset. It's, I found that that is easier than having them stacked one on top of each other. And then you just hold it down. Now this is going to be a simple one. All I'm going to do is embellish this. This is going to be a Christmas one. And I'm going to use, um, these are from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to cut my package open here. I lost my scissors. Oh, there they are. I just want one of these deer. And I want to see if the deer fits. If not, I'm going to trim off his legs at the bottom. Actually, he fits on there nicely. So there we have one sticky note holder. Done. That's one. Okay. Now I'll stick with the same colored one. This one is actually one and seven eighths by four and a half. So that one's the right size. If you can see, this one's wider than that one. So this will cover more. Again, I'm just going to put that down in the center. Turn it over. Score at the one inch, one and a half, three, and three and a half. And I'm just going to go back over that twice just to make sure. And again, fold it in on itself. You can um, crease this with your bone folder if you would like. Uh, sometimes um, if your paper is older or not good quality, it will tend to crack it. So I don't want to do that. Now this one I'm going to put in a yellow sticky note. Because this one can be for all year. And yeah, I've got some glue up there, but that's okay. Place that in just like I did before. Kind of centering that up. And get that glue off the front. 
All right, now I'm going to do the same with my Velcro dots. And I also got these on Amazon, so I'll link these below. You can use any that you might have. And again, I'm placing this one a little bit lower, offset. And then fold it down, make sure it's lined up. Okay. Now for this one, I'm just going to, this reminds me, this paper, of an old purse that I had when I was a kid. So I have these um, copper beads. Uh, they're sticky beads, but I'm going to add a little bit of glue because these are kind of old. And I'm just going to put that like it's the button on a purse. Okay, number two done. All right. Oh, still need my scoreboard. Okay, for number three, I'm going to make a Valentine's one. Don't know why, but I am. So I'm just going through my scraps using what I have. These are the same. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, it seems to be getting um, back again with whatever this virus was. All right. Now, this works if you're using a one, um, a multi directional piece of paper. If you were using uh, paper that goes in multi directions, I will um, you need to cut those separately. And I'll show you here in a minute. So I'm going to flip this over one inch, inch and a half, three inch, three and a half. Again, fold those in. And I'm using. Just you want to make sure. I mean, you could have this top flap being shorter if you wanted, uh, but it just seems to work better with the Velcro to have the longer flap on top. And I'm going to put a pink sticky note in there. And I'm just making sure my pages go up the right direction. Put that down in here. Okay. Put my Velcro dot on. Yeah, this is not going to be a very long video at all, even with the stenciling and the coloring. We still have to stamp, um, not stamp, we've got to cut out what I stenciled. Okay, now for this one, I have um, some heart gemstones. These are from um, Islet Outlet. And it's just a little heart. And I'm just going to put that right there. And that's number three. Oh, you know what? I was going to put a heart on this one that I had cut out. Well, we're just going to do another one. All right, we're just doing, I've got another piece of red here. So we're going to have six. So one inch, inch and a half, three inch. Three and a half. And I don't have a pattern for the front of this one. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I don't know if that's going to look good with just that on there. But why not? We're going to go for it. Just have a plain red one. But I can I can decorate that up some. All right, so let me see. I'll need to get another. Might as well do a pink notepad again. I wish these came in um, Christmas colors, um, different holiday colors. At least they come in more colors than they did when I first noticed them when I was uh, started some office work. I have two hearts here. I cut one as a, I was going to use this as a backing. You know what? I'm going to stick both of them down. I'll put my sticky dot on. I always put the, the soft part on top and the, <coughs> pardon me, the loop part on the bottom. That just seems to work best for me. All right. Let's put these hearts on here. I'll angle one this way. I was going to 
stack these together. And then that didn't work out as we all saw together. And I'm going to put that one this way. And do I have any little rhinestones sticking here on my desk? No, I, I don't think it needs them. Just a little simple sticky note. And that is number four. Okay, now for the tranquil teal one. Oh, and those that heart I cut out of, this is a Spellbinders die. I don't remember the name of the set, but it's just a small heart. All right, now I'm going to take this panel that I stamped, glue that down. This is a wonderful and a very fun way of using up your scraps. It really is. Um, the video I saw this on oh, it was from like seven years ago, uh, and they had different um, size sticky notes. Um, so I had to figure out what size to go with mine. Ooh, that is not straight. Okay, get that straight. That one I will crease because I didn't get it straight to start with. Um, and she took um, decorative corner punches, you know, curved your edges or had a scalloped edge. You could even take this and put um, a piece of ribbon through and make that into like a little purse. That would be cute. Now for this one, I'm going to use, I wanted to use blue. There it is. They didn't have any teal, so this baby blue will work. But these are going to make cute little stocking stuffers, I think. Now for this one, I'm going to take a heart and I colored it. I'm going to add another layer. I think it just needs to be a little bit darker. You can color your embellishments. The clear embellishments, you can color with your alcohol inks. And I'm using Ohuhu um, G850. This is called Forest Green. But as you can see, it doesn't really come out green. Put my Velcro on here now. And put that on. So if you're looking for a last minute gift and you have some of this stuff um, lying around, go for it. And then I'm just going to put that right on there. Now you could bling this up with a little bit of Wink of Stella. You could add some stickles, um, whatever you want to do. Now for this, <clears throat> my red one, I need to cut this down to one and seven eighths inch wide by four and a half long so i'm going to cut it long first you know what nope i'm going to show you how to do this if your pattern's one directional and my pattern is not one directional um, but just in case this was i'm going to show you what to do so i'm just taking this and making it one and seven eighths inch wide Okay, but I'm going to score this plain red at an inch and an inch and a half. Now I'll keep my line straight. Three and three and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this so you can see. Now for my top flap. I need this to be one inch. So I'm going to cut a piece that is one inch. I think that's going to be right. Let's go. Yep, and that's going to fit right there. So I'm going to glue that down. Now, if your paper was really one directional, you would take this and... Um, Turn the paper to get your cut size. 
Now for this flap, if you want to put on here, that is three eighths of an inch, but I'm going to cut this down because there really isn't anything on there. So I want a three, <clears throat> three eighths of an inch. One, two, that's right where that is. That's too wide. <laughs> it's because I went an inch and three eighths. Okay. So one, two, three eighths of an inch. And that's still too wide. I need to go this way. I'm really bad at, I'm going to skip that for now. I need to do my back flap, which is uh, one and three eighths. Okay, back flap, back flap. So you could turn that however you want it. I think I want it that way. And then the front flap is one and inch. Because I want this to go right up to the top. You could make this shorter, uh, but since this is going to be inside and have my Velcro on it. Now, this little top flap is three eighths of an inch. So let's see. So that would be zero, one, two. That would be three eighths of an inch right there. Let me see if I got that right. It needs to be a little smaller than that. I'm just going to scissor it because with this cutter, I really can't tell. There we go. And I'm not going to put one on the bottom because that's the bottom. But you could. All right. Now, to decorate this one up, I'm going to put in a pink sticky note. Again, make sure you're... Um, tablet will come off in the direction you want it to come off in. <coughs> Pardon me. I do apologize. All right. And then put my Velcro on. Okay, now I did have some decor for this one. That's not it, but will it work? Let me see. What do I have here? I've got a snowflake. I don't like that. Don't like that snowflake. Hmm. I seem to have lost my decor for this one. Okay, well, I'll figure something else out later. Oh. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video today, and these are the ones we have made on camera. That one still needs something. I may end up, I think I'll die cut out. Of, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Nope. No, I don't like any of those stickers. Okay. But that is it. That's my video for today. Have fun making these because they are just so cute. I especially, I especially like this one. It's kind of masculine, uh, but a, a lady or a girl would like that too. Make a nice stocking stuffer. Bling the, bling the dickens out of these things if you want to. But keep them simple if you need to. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. <laughs> Pardon me. Ooh. I was going to say that, but I just found some rhinestones mm. i think i'll put one these are too big but anyhow thanks for watching have a great rest of your day apologize for the coughing well the recording doesn't want to stop come on 
Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. This recording doesn't want to. Uh, I lost somehow how to stop it. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Let me see what I can do here. My computer went haywire. Well, while it's still going, let me go get some embellishments. A little tiny. Well, it's still haywire. So I am going to just take a little bit of these um, rhinestones that I have already made red from before. Or do I want gold? Oh, I think gold. Okay. I'm going to take some of these gold mini rhinestones and put them in the center. Well, lost that one. Okay, I'm going to see if I can stop this now. I just added a few. You don't want to put any embellishments on the back because this is going to sit flat when you write your sticky note. You could put some on the top. Um, all right, StreamYard, how do I stop you now? Let's see what I can do.